Hey foodies, I'm going to show you how to make Fig Newtons. So let's get started. We're going to start by looking at the recipe and seeing what ingredients are involved. So as you can see, there's two parts to this. There's the dough, and then there's the filling. So we're going to start with the dough, and I'm going to start by adding my butter. and my sugar, and I'm gonna beat that up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna add an egg. Okay, so that's that part. Now, we have to take an orange. Oh. We have to get the zest of an orange. Mmm, it smells really good. Okay. And that goes. Okay, and I'm going to add my flour and my baking powder, my vanilla, my salt, and I've become a fan of psyllium fiber. It really brings out the elasticity and the flexibility of my dough and just adding just a half a teaspoon for every couple cups of flour really changes the, the whole dynamic of the product. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this up. Oh, it smells wonderful. I'm gonna scrape down the sides because it looks like some of my stuff is stuck to the bottom. And I'm gonna give it one more really good scraping. So you're going to notice that it's quite crumbly, and that's exactly what you want it to be. There we go. So you can see, I'm just pressing it together, and it's coming together really nicely. So let's just dump this out on the counter. Look at that, it's coming together really nicely. Oh, if you could smell this, oh, it smells wonderful. Okay, so I'm gonna wanna wrap this up and put it in the fridge for an hour. So while the dough is in the fridge, we're going to make the filling. We're going to start by putting in our dried figs. It's important that you use dried figs and not fresh figs because this is going to rehydrate them. So we've got water, cinnamon, and some honey. And it doesn't look like much in there, but it really does change, and it's, it's really quite nice. And then finally, we need to add a little bit of orange juice. smells good.
Okay, I'm going to put this on the stove. And I'm going to let that cook down for about 10 minutes. So while that is, is simmering and, and cooking down, we're going to take our, our dough out. And I'm going to roll this out onto parchment paper. Lightly dust it with some flour. Pretty near, near perfect. There we go. Just patching up a few spots. And I'm going to run the rolling pin over it one more time just to make sure. It's nice and even. There we go. I'm going to take our knife, score off the edges as best we can. Okay, let's take a look at the filling. Oh, it's looking good. Okay, and then I'm going to slice it down the middle. Okay, so let's take a look at the filling. Oh, it looks wonderful. You can see how some of the figs have actually popped. That's exactly what you want. Okay, so I'm going to set, put this over here, and I'm going to puree it. If you don't have one of these mixers, a blender or a food processor or even just a knife will work. Okay, so that's all been blended and pureed, and you can see just how smooth it really is. We want to take about half of this, and I'm going to smear it there. The other half is going to go here. That will sink. And now, a little bit more over here. There we go. I find using wet fingers really helps spread it out without having it get everywhere. You want to have a nice thin layer, oops, going down the middle. Whew, that's warm. Because you want to take it right to the edge of either end. Make sure it's nice and even. Look at that. Looks beautiful. Okay. So now, you want to take one side and fold it over like so. And we'll peel that back. You can see my knife cut through the Fig Newton. And we want to lightly press that. So this side that we're looking at right now, this is the bottom. Okay, I'm going to just do the other one quickly. Oops, it just broke a little bit. It's okay. It's the bottom, we don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to flip it, just like that. And we'll do this side. Look at that, it looks beautiful. Okay. So now I'm going to take my pan, lift the whole thing up, and do that. So I'm going to put this in the oven for 17 to 20 minutes until they're golden, and then we're going to pull them out, let them cool, and we're going to slice them up. 
Look at these cookies, they're looking wonderful. So they baked in the oven for about 15 minutes for my oven and they look perfect. You can see that they're a nice golden color. So the only thing that's left is to cut them up. So let's take one. And we're gonna cut cookie sizes. Exactly what you want. You want it to be a little bit crumbly. You want it to have that wonderful filling on the inside. I mean, it's just it's gorgeous what you've got. And now the moment of truth. We get to try it. Mm. Crumbly like shortbread, but that little sweet filling of the figs. So good. Have you ever made Fig Newtons before? Let me know in the comments below. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks for watching.